Well, first, from a manufacturer's standpoint, uh, it's all about being competitive. Uh, fully utilizing our natural gas resources is so vital to reducing energy costs for domestic manufacturers, including the steel industry, which supports more than one million direct and indirect jobs in the economy. It's the best thing that I have seen in decades that allows us to be more competitive than other folks that do what we do around the world. It's a remarkable source of economic growth and prosperity that, again, we're not likely to encounter again, uh, I don't think, in our lifetimes. These developments create high-value jobs, they'll stimulate economic activity in North America, and in the process, provide energy security for our nation. We don't get deals like that very often. The uh, Marcella Shale Formation, for example, in our uh, home state of Pennsylvania, is one of the most significant discoveries of natural gas in the world, and one that is estimated to provide enough reserves to fuel the energy needs of the United States for a century. Marcella Shale has revolutionized and revitalized the economic realities of local communities, regions, and states where gas can be extracted and brought to market economically. A recent independent study found that the Marcella Shale accounted for the creation of 44,000 jobs in Pennsylvania in 2009, another 200,000 new jobs anticipated by 2013, similar statistics in New York and West Virginia. Uh, development of Ohio's Utica Shale could support over 200,000 jobs in just four years. It's an extraordinary story. It's all about making manufacturing more competitive in the United States against the rest of the world. It's so important to the steel industry for two really important reasons. Uh, first, mo most directly, the uh, steel pipes and tube products that U.S. steelmakers produce, including our company, are integral to both the collection and then the transmission of natural gas. So using more natural gas would maximize key markets for our steel industry, and more demand means more steel jobs, directly and indirectly, and it's been demonstrated that's good for everyone, including the individuals, families, and communities. Uh, secondly, uh, the steel industry is a significant consumer of all forms of energy, including natural gas. Uh, our company, for example, United States Steel, last year alone in our North American operations, used more than 100 million MMBTUs of natural gas, more than 9 million tons of metallurgical coal for our coke making operations and more than 1 million tons of other types of coal for pulverized coal injection. So thinking about the natural gas we used, if we paid 3 or 4 or 5 dollars per MMBTU here in North America, our operations in Europe, those same MMBTUs per ton we paid 3 times as much for. That's all about being competitive. Now also from an environmental standpoint, which is important to our industry, Natural gas is a fuel that most experts would identify as key to the advancement of our nation's future green energy agenda. Last year, the U.S. Department of Energy identified the U.S. steel industry as a world leader in achieving the lowest energy intensity per ton of steel produced as compared to steel industries in other nations. Natural gas played a very important role in those achievements, and I would expect that will continue going forward because it's so competitive against all of the forms of energy. We are urging Congress to pass Representative Tim Murphy's Infrastructure, Jobs, and Energy Independence Act, which I understand goes by the, the handle H.R. 1861. This bipartisan legislation focuses on expanding access and production of America's oil and natural gas sources in the Outer Continental Shelf while using the anticipated revenue to rebuild America's transportation infrastructure. That seems like a really good deal. Uh, we support, of course, common sense regulation of natural gas development, and we think it can be accomplished with a common sense approach. We believe environmental regulations on shale gas drilling are best developed and implemented at the state rather than the federal level, where there is better flexibility to deal with specific local issues. The President's Council on Jobs and Competitiveness just issued a report emphasizing how important developing our natural gas and shale resource is to America's economic 
and energy security, as well as our global competitiveness. We urge the President to take action on this recommendation immediately, which will create jobs, stimulate the economy, and secure our future energy supply. That's a great deal. We don't get them like this very often. We sure hope the President can accomplish that for us.